Good morning. I'm here with Devin Wilson, candidate for Shawnee Mission School Board. On behalf of the Johnson County Public Policy Council, thank you, Devin, for being here today. It's great to be here. The Johnson County Public Policy Council is made up of 10 Chambers of Commerce in Johnson County. Our goal is to provide information about public policy issues impacting area businesses. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. As a candidate, what are your top three policy issues? Uh, right, my top three uh, policy priority issues are community engagement, individualized learning, and quality public education for all. The Kansas Supreme Court recently ruled the current school funding formula is both equitable and adequate. However, the court retained jurisdiction over the case to assure the funding is maintained. Briefly, what are your thoughts on the new formula and the additional dollars that have been added to K-12 school funding? I'm glad that the Kansas legislature uh, finally put pencil to paper and put a, a formula together that now has been deemed constitutional. Um, I think it's been a great step. We've been underfunding Kansas public schools for over a decade more now, and uh, to see that funding to constitutional letter levels, to see the courts approve of the funding levels, to, to approve of the, the increase uh, to account for inflation levels, I, I think is a, is a big win uh, for Kansas schools and, and Kansas school kids. Um, there's been a lot of damage and it'll take some time to rebuild some of the programs that we lost in, in Kansas public schools, but um, definitely that's a great step forward. And now uh, on the school board, I can help look at um, where we can prioritize, reprioritize and, and um, put those dollars out where the students can use those best. And with the recent ruling by the Supreme Court that the funding formula and related funding are constitutional, it's likely the legislature will look closely at accountability measures for student performance. Please describe the accountability measures you support and believe are reflective of student achievement. Right, it's always important that we hold schools accountable, elected officials accountable. Um, that's a critical part. Uh, school districts are held accountable uh, for the funding they receive through the accreditation process. Uh, changes in race, recent years have made that more rigorous and meaningful process. Um, student achievement should not be measured by a single high-stakes high test score. Uh, we need to look at multiple metrics uh, that take a, a broader look and a more deeper dive into how students are performing in schools and the quality education that they're getting. And good data helps decision making, but decisions should be made at the local level and not set by state mandates. Kansas is experiencing all-time low unemployment rates, and employers are struggling to find qualified workers, especially in technical and skilled trades. How do you see the Shawnee Mission School District helping to meet our business community's future workforce needs through technical education and training? I'm excited that the Shawnee Mission School District has embraced um, career and technical education programs and has been nimble in adapting to those uh, changing needs. Shawnee Mission School District has signature programs. Um, the new real, real world learning grant from the Kauffman Foundation are ways that the, the school district is meeting the challenge. Ensuring that each student has an individual plan of study uh, would also help ensure that each student has a chance to fully explore their options. One of the best ways to lay a foundation for the future workforce is to invest in early childhood programs and to give kids a great start. And other than funding, what do you see as the greatest challenge facing the district? In Shiny Mission School District, I think rebuilding trust uh, through upper level administration all the way to the, the classroom, teachers, paraprofessionals, uh, support staff. Uh, the last super, superintendent lost a lot of the trust of community stakeholders and educators. I think rebuilding that trust uh, will be an ongoing and arduous process, but is uh, definitely worthwhile and I think will strengthen our, our our communities. And Devin, as we wrap up, tell us why you're seeking public office. Okay, I'm excited about the opportunity to serve on the school board. I've been an um, advocate for Kansas Public Schools for over six years now, um, serving on five different PTAs all the way to the state level as a legislative advocacy chair, uh, watching uh, policy being made, uh, going to school board meetings for over six years, looking at how policy is developed and how that affects kids in the classroom and I want to build on that knowledge and uh, 
serving on the school board is the next um, logical progression to bring my skills, knowledge, experience, and help, help make our, our district better. Well, we thank you for spending some time uh, with us this morning, and we wish you yes. the best of luck with the election. All right. Thanks so much.